had written. You want to help me? Ten rules. Bridge for his people that day. That day. Those rules can still help us. But if we just obey, if we just obey. All right. Well, these boys didn't really. They got shy. But are there any of you that want to try to help me sing it? Oh, all right. Here we go. On top of Mount Sinai. You ready? On top of Mount Sinai, God wrote. God wrote On two big stone tablets. On two big stone tablets. He wrote them for all. He wrote them for all. Ten rules he had written. Come on, Willow. Ten rules he had written. For his people that day. For his people that day. Just obey. There we go. Good job, you guys. All righty. <laughs> Are we done with registration? Are we ready to start? All righty then. Well, I will pass this there. Can I borrow this? Yeah, Pastor Mark will need it. All right, boys and girls, I love that song. It goes with what we talked about yesterday, right? The Ten Commandments. Thank you. <laughs> We're just swapping out here. All right, so boys and girls, if you are just making your way into the Starry Night campsite for our Mountain Mover Vacation Bible School, welcome. <laughs> We are glad you're here. How many of you were here yesterday? Just show me by raising your hand. All right. Commander Michael said, I was here. All right, hands down. How many of you, it's your first time being here? Let me, oh, I've seen you before. I recognize you. I don't recognize you. Is it really your first time being here? What's your name? Annalise. Her name is Annalise. All right, who else is your first time being here? Are you going to be shy? Will you tell me your name? Skylar. Skylar. Kaden. First time ever being here. Not for VBS, ever. Peyton and Skylar and Annalise, right? Annalise. All right. You, I recognize you. You were here yesterday. I can't forget that cute face. All right, so boys and girls, we are getting ready to sing some songs together. All right? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. 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 All right, here we go. So if I were you and I heard somebody playing music and we were going to sing praises Jesus, I would stand up and I would clap my hands and I would sing. All right, good job, good job. All right, guys, we're going to sing a song that we learned yesterday. Do you think you can sing it better than you did yesterday?
never change. Your spirit goes before me as you light my way. Mark, guys, sing really loud wherever I go. Wherever I go, I know you'll go there with me. You meet me on the mountain and you find me in the valley. Wherever I go, I know you go there with me. I love you in the breakthrough and I trust you. Because you are in wherever I go, ready? Because you are wherever I go. You are wherever I go. You are wherever I go. Wherever I go, no matter where I go, your love is with me. I hid my heart away, but you were there. Why should I be ashamed if you are for me? Within my worst mistake, you still care. Cause you never flinch, and you never change. Your spirit goes before me as you light my way. Wherever I go, wherever I go, I know you'll go there with me. You meet me on the mountain and you find me in the valley. Wherever I go, I know you'll go there with me. I love you in the breakthrough and I trust you in Wherever, wherever I, I go, go, you are wherever I go, you are wherever I go. Let's sing that again, guys. Wherever, wherever I, I go, go. Cause you are wherever I go, you are wherever I go, you are wherever I go. Wherever I go, wherever I go, I know you go there with me. You meet me on the mountain and you find me in the valley. Wherever I go, I know you'll go there with me. I love you in the breakthrough and I'll trust you in the You are wherever I go. Cause you are wherever I go. You are wherever I go. You are wherever I go. Wherever, wherever I, I go. go, you are wherever I go, you are wherever I go, you are wherever I go, wherever I go. Good job, guys. You guys sounded amazing, so much better than yesterday. I didn't even think that was possible. you're looking for. For God so loved, guys, shout it out. Woo! For God so loved the world that he gave us his one and only son to save us who 
whoever believes in him will live forever. Bring all your failures, bring your addictions, come lay them down at the foot of the cross. Jesus is waiting there with open arms. For God so loved the world that he gave us his one and only son to save us. Whoever believes in him will live forever. Let's sing it again. For God. For God so loved the world that he gave us his one and only son to save us. Whoever believes in him will live forever. All right, guys, we're going to get really, really quiet. Ready? Praise God. Praise God, from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, praise Him for the wonder. All right, a little bit louder, but not super loud. Ready? Praise God, praise God, from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, praise Him for the wonder. All right, guys, as loud as you can. Ready? Praise God, praise God, from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, praise Him, for the wonders of His love. For God so loved the world that He gave us His one and only Son to save. For God so loved the world that He gave us one and only son to save us whoever believes in him will live forever the power power of hell forever defeated now it is well I'm walking in freedom for God so loved God so loved the world bring all your failures Bring your addictions, come lay them down at the foot of the cross. Jesus is waiting, God so loved the world. Oh my goodness, guys, you remembered from last year our song. Good job! You guys sound amazing. But I'm so surprised because we're like, shout it out. And you guys are like, for God so loved. And we ask you to be quiet. And there's all kinds of noise. Uh, You guys always surprise me. (laughs) All right. So are you excited? Yeah. Yeah? Are you happy to be here? We're happy to be here, too. Did you know that? Yeah. All of us in these shirts, we're happy to be here, too. All right. So boys and girls. We have something exciting in store for you, but before we get that underway, we're going to play a quick round of Would You Rather. All right, who wants to be my first victim? I mean, I am so sorry. Volunteer, who wants to be my first? Oh, you want to come up? You Come here, come here, tell me your name. Owen. Owen? Yes. Owen, come here. Come here, right here, just for a second. All right, are you ready? Come here. All right, look out there at everybody. Don't be, don't be shy or nervous. You ready, Owen? Would you rather, uh-oh, would you rather go camping with strangers, people you don't know, or all by yourself? Which one? All by yourself. Oh, by himself. I agree with that answer. All right, let's do one more. Would you rather? Let me see. Uh, Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to pick James. Come here, James. Or sometimes he likes to be called JJ. Is your name James, too? (gasps) How many James are here? It's okay. It's okay. Watch this. I have more than one question. All right, little James, you ready? You ready? Turn around so everybody can see you. Would you rather swim in a lake or a swimming pool? A swimming pool. All right, have a seat. Good answer. All right, you ready? 
Would you rather, James, who's a little taller than the other James, would you rather be covered in itchy, ouchy bug bites or have a terrible sunburn? Terrible sunburn. A terrible sunburn. Somebody here has a sunburn because they were like, ow, ow, ow. And I said, are you okay? Oh, it's my sunburn. Was it you? No, it was over there. I see her. She has a sunburn. All right, boys and girls, it is time for you to experience some amazing mountain hiking, okay? All right. Are you ready? Hey, how many yellow bands are in here? Who's on Team Yellow? <laughs> team Yellow. Awesome. How about Team Orange? Anybody orange? Yeah. All right. All right, hands down. How about the red team? Ah, oh, awesome. Awesome. Everybody has a band on, right? Okay. All right, so I'm going to get out of the way. You guys get ready for this. Are we ready? to be late on the plan that she made. Has nobody seen Stacy? Stacy! No, I'm right here. I'm right here. Stacy? Hey, hey, hey. No, no, hey, 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 hey. I'm over here. Oh, Stacy! I'm right. I'm ready. I'm ready for this trail. I'm ready for the hike. I'm sensing a problem here, Stacy. You're going to go on the trail with uh -huh. all those bags. Uh, yeah, that's the plan. I, OK, OK. It's called glamping, Kiri. Look it up. It's a totally normal way to rough it with, like, style. Style? Maybe the style of a spoiled rich kid. <laughs> Just, you know what? It's you that has to carry it, uh -huh. so it, no problem. I, that's fine. You know, if you are willing to carry all those bags uh -huh. on the trail, uh -huh. up the mountain, uh -huh. that's miles long. Uh -huh. okay. okay. As long as we got that cleared up. All right, let's all right. go. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. All right, all right. All right. So according to this map, it looks like we need to take a left let's at the next down. tree, um, <laughs> and then. Oh well. Oh yes. I'll just enjoy the scenery. Oh, wow, it's beautiful out here. I mean, just look at the birds, oh, the trees. Yeah, it's so beautiful out here. I love it. Stacy, are you okay? Yeah, it's, just, it's like it's really hot out here. I think. Yeah, we're outside. I know that. I, I okay, think I just well, need like something like I just need something like cold to drink. You know? Oh well, I have a water bottle here if you wanted to. Oh my goodness. Big gulp. Oh, oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I got two sharing rooms. Where even was this? It is Wait. around, you know, somewhere. Okay, uh, you know, well, it's, it's good. Thank Give it a try. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, you can have this back. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's camping necessities right there. Okay. All right, well, are you ready to get back on the trail? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm okay. ready, I'm okay. ready. I'm just, I'm just making sure. Okay. All right, so it looks like we go up here to about Miss Mary, and then we got to turn around and make a U-turn. A U-turn. A U-turn. Yep, yep, that's exactly okay. what it says. Huh. Isn't this so peaceful? Hi, I mean, sure. just listen. You can hear the creek gurgling, yeah. the birds singing. Yeah. Oh, nature makes its own beautiful music. Oh, music? Yes, music. Oh. Oh, I love music. Look oh. what I got. Are you ready for it? This is a song I made it myself. You made it yourself? Nature! It's a great stop! You 
You are scaring away all the birds. They live here. What? Why do you have that? Well, I thought we could serenade each other around the serenade. fire. You don't like my song? I did not. I didn't here, listen to the best part. Ready? Ready? Oh. It's birds. Chapter oh, <laughs> Let's save the serenading for the campsite. Yeah, yeah, is that okay? Yeah, just I take mean, that far down in there. You, just really put it in there. You, yeah, I mean, we don't need that anytime if you soon. Insist, I mean, yeah, yeah, we don't need that anytime soon. Okay. It's gonna make its way into a creek. Okay. Nobody's looking. All right, are you ready to go? Yeah, I, mean, okay. I could sing, but uh, no, it's okay. We'll we'll listen to the birds. And, okay. And the creek over there, and and not singing, no singing. Uh, okay. No singing. Okay. All right. Hmm. All right. Well. Oh. Oh, oh. Carrie, are you okay? Oh no. Are you oh. okay? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. Oh, I ripped my favorite flannel. Don't worry about it. Hold that. I packed an emergency sewing kit. Oh, well, that's yeah, actually the most useful thing that you've said that oh you have. Hang this on. whole time I thought you just bought a bunch of junk, but there's actually something useful that I can use. What color thread do you need? I only have sapphire, vermilion, baby blue, steel blue. Like a greenish blue, like a grayish blue. I really like blue. Stacy, why do you have a sewing machine? In case you need, what else do you have in here? Hey, careful, careful, I got a lot of valuables in there. Oh, my perfect pen, no, oh, my perfect pen. Give me that bag. Stacy, why do you have all this stuff? Because I need it. Why do you need a rubber chicken? I, what, why? I don't, I don't know about that one, but I need all this stuff to hike with you. You think you need all this stuff to hike with me? Yeah, that's what I thought you did. Why? Okay. Because are you so worried that uh, you're not going to have something that you need that you thought to bring a rubber chicken? Yeah. Okay, like what if I'm not prepared? Stacy, you are never going to be prepared for anything that goes on in hiking. That's the point of hiking. That's the point of life. If you go through carrying everything that you have gone through in life with you, you are never going to make it through. How do I make it when times get hard then? You have got to trust in God, not that rubber chicken. Oh. <laughs> Stacy, we have God on our side. With really? God, we can do amazing things. We can, we can call rain down like Elijah did. We can part the Red Sea like Moses. Oh. With faith the size of a mustard seed, we can move that mountain. Really? Yes, really. Just here. I'll give you the only multi-tool you need in life. Okay. It's on this side. I'm you gotta get it out. Hang on. I'm gonna put my sewing machine here. Look, this is all that you need for hiking and life. This is the Bible. Yes, it's the Bible. Oh. It's all that you need. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And when we get to the campsite, I'll show you how to use it. Really? Okay. Yes. All right. All right, okay, let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Stacy. Leave the bag. Leave, leave the, the bag. Yeah, I'll, you know. Leave I, the bags. I didn't even like them anyways. I didn't. Yeah. I, oh. I'm going to take this with me. My poor map. All right, get, get inside. Ah, whoa, wait, there's a bug! Ah! I got it! I told you we needed this rubber chicken. Just get in the campsite. Okay. All right, now grab out your Bible and I'll show you where to go. Okay. All right. Therefore, when we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Oh, 
Wow, what do you boys and girls think about that? That was amazing. Thank you, Stacy. <laughs> All right, like wasn't that fantastic? Here. Yeah. So, so she thought she needed all those things, but she said all she needed was, who did she need? Ah, oh, no, no, not the rubber chicken. They only needed God, right? The Bible and to trust in Jesus. That was awesome. They did a fantastic job. Do you know who else did a fantastic job? All of you. All of you did a fantastic job of paying attention to that. Awesome. I'm going to ask you to give us a few more minutes. I'm going to talk to you. Remember yesterday we talked about somebody that was going up a mountain. Somebody that was here yesterday. Can you remind me who we talked about going up a mountain? Holden. Whoa, Moses. Did he get that right, guys? Yes, he did. He did get it right. Very good, Holden. And we said that when Moses was up on the mountain, God gave him something very special. Who remembers what special thing? that Moses got while he was on the mountain with God. Do you know? Oh, he got the Ten Commandments, right? Laws that we are supposed to follow. Laws that God wanted his people to know so that they could live for him, right? And even though... They were written a long time ago. God wants us to know the Ten Commandments so that we can know him better and love him more and live for him. And we said that God is the one that can tell us the best way to live. Why? Because he's the one that made everything, right? That's why he can tell us the best way to live. All right. So, boys and girls, yesterday I had this bag full of stuff, and I pointed at you guys with something, and then I put it away because I said, it's not nice to point. Do you remember that? And then I got it out again. So here it is. But I, I'm not going to point at you guys with it. But we are going to review quickly the Ten Commandments, okay? So I have them right here. I don't know, maybe your young eyes can read those. <laughs> Some of you can see them. So number one was, put God first. Number two, worship God as the one true God. God's name is special. Good job, guys. Number four, have a day for rest. Number five, show respect to parents. Number six, hating equals murder. Do not murder. Number seven, marriage is special. Number eight, don't take what's not yours. No stealing. Number nine, don't cover up the truth, which means don't lie, right? And number 10, be thankful for what you have. Very good. That's a quick review of the Ten Commandments. But you know what happened, boys and girls? After, after the Ten Commandments were given, hundreds of years later, like 400 years later, after God had given Moses, the commandments on Mount Sinai, God called another servant up a mountain. But this time, it was a man named Elijah. Can you say Elijah? Elijah. Yeah, and Elijah was a prophet of God. A prophet spoke God's word. Now, what happened is, 
Sometimes in Israel, the people forgot how important it is to keep God. Where does God want to be in our lives? To keep God first, right? And sometimes the people would forget that. And one time they suffered a drought, which meant no rain, for three and a half years because they forgot how important it is to keep God first. We are not having a drought right now, are we? (laughs) There's plenty of rain to go around. And then God used Elijah to remind the people to keep God first. So God told Elijah to go to a wicked king named Ahab and a queen named Jezebel, and he was to say this, I will send rain upon the earth. And when he got there, not yet, when he got there and he met up with the king, the king was angry. The king was mad at Elijah. And he said, oh, there you are, you troubler of Israel. I have not troubled Israel. You have, by leading the people away from God, you have put a fake God in front of them. Baal is a false God. And you have put him before the one true God. And then Elijah told the king, he said, this is what you're going to do. You're going to come to Mount Carmel, and you're going to bring the people of Israel and bring the 450 prophets of Baal, too. At Mount Carmel, Elijah looked at the people, and he said, How long will you wait to decide? (gasps) That's what he asked him. How long will you wait to decide? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. Elijah said, bring two bulls, like cows, bulls, okay, two animals, and let Baal's prophets choose one and put it on an altar, and I'll do the same. But don't put any fire to the wood. And he said, you call on your God, and I will call on the name of the Lord. And the God who answers by fire, he is God. Okay? Now, Baal's prophets, they called all day on their fake God. And guess what happened? Nothing. Nothing at all. But guess what? Now, Elijah, he piled up 12 stones. And he dug a ditch around the altar, and he had four large jars of water poured over it. And then Elijah prayed, and he said, Lord God, let it be known today that you are God in Israel. Suddenly, there was a great blast of heat and smoke. And brilliant, crackling flames appeared. God answered by fire. Wow. And the people shouted. You know what they shouted? They shouted, the Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. You guys say that. You ready? The Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. Very good. Awesome. Now, God had answered by fire. They shouted, the Lord, he is God. And then Elijah went up to the top of Mount Carmel, and he prayed for God. I'm going to turn my page. He prayed for God to send rain. And soon the sky over Mount Carmel, guess what happened? It grew dark with clouds. And the rain fell. And the rain fell, guys. So God answered again, and the rain fell. The wind blew hard. The rain fell. God was showing his people the importance of keeping him first in their lives. Isn't that amazing? Now, 
boys and girls, guess what? Guess what? God wants you, he wants you to put him first in your life too. God wants you to do that. But did you know that you can't put God first until you have believed in Jesus? Remember we said even keeping the Ten Commandments, we can't do that by ourselves. We need help to do that. So God sent Jesus to help us. And so until you have believed in Jesus and invited him into your life to help you, you can't put God first. So it's very important, boys and girls, to hear what we're saying to you, okay, over the next couple of days. And to remember what they learned when they were hiking, right, that the most important thing to have is the word of God and God himself. God, God gave the Ten Commandments, guys, because he wants us to know him and he wants us to love him. But you know what the best thing is about that? It's that that's what he does with us. God loves us and God wants, he knows us. And so God is asking us just to know him and love him in return. Isn't that cool? So if you have believed in Jesus, you can be thankful because you have Jesus helping you to keep God first. If you've never believed in Jesus, you can make that decision today. You can do that, okay? And if you have questions about that, you can talk to me or any of the adults that are sitting with you. We'll answer your questions about what it means to believe in Jesus and how to ask him to help you. Now, I am so grateful to you boys and girls because you have just been fantastic. I would like, thank you, Sister Mary, that's right. Fantastic. You want to do the review? Or you want to do the review or no? Yeah, okay, yep. All right, so we're going to see who's been paying really good attention. And we're going to ask a couple questions. And I do have a prize for those that answer correctly. Um, so I'll need to know who it is. All right. Do we have any boys and girls here tonight? Let me see. Yeah, we do. I'm so glad you're here tonight. Here we go. You ready? Um, um, question number one. See who's paying attention now. Where's the group I was sitting with? Now, you guys ought to know this stuff, right? Because we were like, uh, you know, right? Here we go. Why didn't Baal answer his prophets? Why? Tell me. Uh, yep. What? You forget. Right here. Yes, sweetheart. Yep. Because they're not real is right. Woo. All right. That's really good. Because they're not real, because they're false, because they're fake. Okay. All right. You ready for another question? What did God do when Elijah prayed? Yes, honey. What happened? What came down from heaven? What happened? Something else. Yeah, that's true. Fire. Whoa, that's it right there. Okay, fire. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Question number three. Name things you might put before God. Ooh. Huh? All right, we got, yeah, what do you think? What do you think? Huh? Maybe. What would you, what would you put before God? What, honey? Nobody? Put something before God. Yes, sweetie. Family? <laughs> Anybody else? Huh? What, sweetie? Your life. Your life? Something you put before God, like like you, you worship this more than you worship God. <laughs> what you got, honey? Huh? Who said money? Who said money? That's it right there. Yep, yep. He said money. He's one of them. That's right. That's right. Money. How about this? How about, can we put things before God? Money, sports. Video games, things like that. Here's another. Let me. Let's do. Here's another question. You ready for this? What does God want you to do? What's God want you to do? Who did I didn't call on yet? Yeah, go ahead, honey. To read the Bible. Yeah, God wants you to read the Bible. I like that. God wants. Uh, what else? What else? You got a sweetheart and a green shirt. 
What's God wants you to do? To what? To love him is good. That's really good. I like that. All right, okay, here we go. Here. God wants you to put him first, to know him, and what? To love him. Okay, I got a bunch of kids over here. Let's go on this side over here. At, last question here today. After the people said, the Lord, he is God, what did Elijah pray for? What did Elijah pray for? Anybody in the back? Anybody in the back? What did Elijah pray for? Rain. Well, that's right. Did the rain come? Did the rain come? Yes, it did. All right. Fantastic. Hey, give a big hand clap right now. That was a great job, okay? Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so boys and girls, we have just enough time for Miss Abby to come on down, and we are going to do the song, the CEF song, Brother John. So Abby, come on down. Some of you sang this with us yesterday, so you should be really good at it today, right? But there's a video you can see, okay? Yesterday. Hey, real quick thing to say. Don't open your bubbles inside. Wait till you're outside or take them home, okay? Don't open bubbles up in here. Whew. Who's ready to find out where you're headed tonight? All right, I need the leaders for the orange team. Orange. Wow, the orange team has a lot of leaders tonight. All right. Orange team, right up here. Thank you. All right. Orange team. Hey, orange team, guess where you're headed? To the picnic area. Oh, okay. Hey, boys and girls, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before you go anywhere, 
Miss Tina said, don't forget your registration papers because tomorrow we're going to draw for prizes and you have to have a registration paper to get a prize, okay? And tomorrow is day three and we are going to have a bouncy house and and we will be drawing for the prizes. You don't want to miss tomorrow. If you come back, you can bring a friend, okay? All right. So the orange team, the orange team could go ahead and go to the picnic area. All right. The red team. The red team is going to go to, wait a minute, where's the leaders? Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, they're, they're coming on strong. Wow. All right. Boys and girls, we're going to let them get ready for you. They are setting up right now for Pavilion Games. Pavilion. So you guys are camping bingo, spin and win, tic-tac-toe. All right. You guys, because of the rain, we had to change some things. So the pavilion games are inside tonight. Walk right over there. The yellow team. Yellow team. Woo, 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 woo. All right, yellow team. Miss Mary, our team is going to the crafting tent, which is now located right downstairs so we're gonna head that way hey guys thank you if you are not with your team get with your team are you guys all yellow yes okay i'm not sure how that happened but hi all right so boys and girls do not go outside of the area that we have set up for you please you will stay with the adults that are with you okay Thank you so much. We're going to spend.